In this video, we're going to write a Python program to find the frequency of each letter in a string. The first thing we'll do is call the input function to prompt the user to enter a string. We'll pass the input function the string enter text colon to prompt the user with this text. Then the input function is going to return the string the user enters. We'll store that into a variable called text. Now to count the occurrences of each letter in the string, what we'll do is loop through the string one character at a time. And if that character is a letter, then we'll increment a running count of the occurrences of that letter. We'll store the running counts in a Python dictionary. So we'll have a Python dictionary called counts and counts is going to have keys for A, B, C, all the way to Z. And we'll initialize all these count values to zero. So we'll have keys for A, B, C, all the way to Z, and all of them will initially be zero. Then as we encounter each letter in the string, what we'll do is increment the count for that letter. So if we encounter the letter B, we would increment this count. The first thing we'll do is create the counts dictionary. So here we'll have counts is equal to an empty dictionary. Now to initialize the count dictionary with keys for A to Z, what we'll do is import the string module. Because the string module has a ASCII lowercase string that contains all the lowercase letters from A to Z. So we can loop through each letter in this string, string.ascii underscore lowercase, and for each letter from A to Z in this string, we'll set a key in the Python dictionary for that letter equal to zero. So now counts has a key for each letter set to zero. Then what we'll do is loop through each character in the string. And if that character is a letter, we'll increment the associated key value in this counts dictionary. So we'll have here for character in text. So this loop is going to run for each character in the string text. And each time it does, character is going to be set to the next character in the string. We'll check to see if that character is an alphabetic character with the is alpha function. So we'll have here, if character dot is alpha is true. So is alpha is going to return true if that character is a letter from A to Z. And if it is, we'll increment the count for that letter in our Python dictionary. So the letter could be lowercase or uppercase. We could have uppercase A or lowercase A. But our Python dictionary only contains a key at lowercase A. And the idea is that we're counting occurrences of each letter, whether it's uppercase or lowercase. So what we'll do is have character dot lower. The lower method is going to take that character and turn it into a lowercase letter. So if we have uppercase A, it's going to be turned into lowercase A. If the character already is lowercase A, it's going to remain lowercase A. So this will give us the key in that Python dictionary for that letter. Then we'll take that key and we'll access it. And we'll increment the value stored there by one with plus equals one. So now counts should contain a count of each letter in the string. Down here, we'll output counts with print and counts. And if we save the program and run it, we could enter in the string test. And we can see here in our dictionary, we have two occurrences of T we have one occurrence of S, and we have one occurrence of E. So our program is working. Another thing we could do is keep track of the total number of letters in the string. So here, we'll initialize a variable called total to the value zero. Then whenever we encounter a letter, regardless of which letter, we'll increment total by one. Then down here, we could also output total. So we'll have here print and total. And if we save the program, we could test it out. We'll enter in T E S T, 
this time with some uppercase letters. And we'll get the same counts as before with T being two and S being one and E being one. And we have a total number of letters of four, which is correct. So one thing we could do is output the results into a neatly formatted table. The first thing we'll do is output a new line with print. This is going to output a new line character and print itself also outputs a new line character. So this will put two lines of vertical space in between the program input and output. Then we'll make some table headings. We'll use what's called an F string to do this. We'll have here print and we'll have F to make an F string. Then we're going to have here letter as a string and then colon space less than nine. So this will output the string letter into what is essentially a field of width nine. The string is going to be left aligned in that field with a space character used as padding for the remainder of the field width. So what we'll do is output all letters using this as the field width. Then we'll do the same thing for a column of counts and a column of percentages too. So next we'll have here the string count and then colon less than nine and we'll have the string percentage and then colon and this time we'll have less than 12. So we'll make this last field here a bit bigger at 12 characters because percentage is a larger word. Then we'll output a row of 30 stars to separate the column headings from the rows of data. So we'll have here print and we'll output 30 stars. So I've got five stars there. I'll copy that once to give us 10. I'll copy this two more times to give us 30. So 30 stars matches the combined length of our field widths because here we have nine plus nine plus 12, which will give us 30. Next, we'll loop through our counts and output them as a row in the table. So we'll have here four letter in counts. So here we're going to loop through each letter key in our dictionary counts. And as of Python 3.6, dictionaries are ordered by insertion. So that means because we inserted the keys in the order A, B, C, all the way to Z, we know our output here is going to be in the order A, B, C, all the way to Z. And the first thing we'll do in the loop body here is calculate the percentage that that letter occurred relative to all other letters. So we'll have here percentage is equal to the count of that letter divided by the total number of all letters multiplied by 100. And that will give us the percentage. Then we'll put the letter, the count, and the percentage. We'll again use an F string. So we'll have here print and then F and we'll have letter, colon, and then less than nine, and we'll have counts at the index letter, and then colon, space, less than nine, and we'll have percentage, colon, space, and we'll have less than 12, and then dot two F. So here, we're outputting the letter into a field of width nine. By doing this for all letters, in addition to the column heading here, that's going to give the effect of a neatly formatted column. We'll do the same thing for the other columns. So we also output the count of that letter into a field of width nine, the same as the column heading. And we do the same thing with percentage here with a field of width 12. Here we also have dot two F. So dot two F is going to ensure that number is output using fixed point notation with two decimal digits of precision. So if we save the program and try it out now, and if we enter the string, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, then we'll get this neatly formatted table here where we have columns for letter, count, and percentage, and we have the count presented in the table here and the percentage here as well. So this is how we can find the frequency of each letter in a string using Python.
Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.